Before we take a look at race number nine on Monday at Oakland Park, I want to wish all of you a very happy new year. I wish you nothing but the best for 2024. Let's take a look at the Smarty Jones Stakes. It's a mile and the 16th. It's at Oakland Park. So on New Year's Day, it's race number nine with a purse of $300,000. It's a derby prep race. Ten points going to the winner. Just the first Kentucky Derby prep race of 2024. Let's take a look at the field. Get the one horse, Informed Patriot, trained by Steve Asmussen. Eight to one. Broke his maiden at Churchill. Three races back. The next time out, Street Sense on a sloppy track. Finished third in that race. Then ran an allowance race after that. Finished third in that one. Getting eight to one. One horse and form Patriot. He should be forward in this race. Nine to two is the two horse catching freedom. He was scheduled to run in the Gunrunner Stakes at the fairgrounds a week ago, but he scratched out of that race. I picked him to win that race, but he's, they scratched him and they're running him in this one instead. He broke his maiden at Churchill in his debut. The one mile distance, winning by three and three quarters. Next time out, he got caught behind a wall of horses in the stretch. Had nowhere to go. Finished fourth in that race. He had a legitimate excuse in that race. And getting nine to two on the two horse catching freedom. He's trained by Brad Cox. I will use the two horse on my tickets. Six to one is the three. Laganos. He's the only entrant in this field with the win at the distance of a mile and a sixteenth. Trained by Steve Asmus, written by Joel Rosario. He broke his maiden on turf. Last time out, picked up his first win on dirt. Churchill, allowance nine winners of two lifetime race, winning by a length and three quarters. Getting six to one on the three horse. I will use the three horse on my tickets. Five to one is to four. Mystic Dan. He should be forward in this race as well. Two races back. He broke his maiden at Churchill Downs, and he was impressive in that race. He won by seven and three quarters. Next time out, he really disappointed. He was the two to one favorite. Finished fifth. Five to one on the four horse. Mystic Dan. Twenty to one. Five horse, Mo Winnie. He won his debut at Remington. He won impressively. Won by four, but if you're a fan of speed figures, that, that wasn't a very impressive speed figure for Mo Winning. But he did win by four lengths. Getting 20 to 1 on the five horse, Mo Winning. At 7 to 2 is the 6, Gettysburg Address. Gettysburg Address, broke his maiden at Ellis Park. Next time out in the grade three street sets. Went to the lead, set the pace, had the lead all to himself. He got into the stretch, and, and he just weakened. Uh, maybe it was the sloppy track that got to him. Brad Cox is removing blinkers for this one. Flavian Pratt returns. Good 7-2 to two on the six horse. Gettysburg Address. I will use Gettysburg Address on my tickets. At 9 to 5, this is your morning line favorite. The most experienced horse in the field is Just Steel. Just, just Steel. Broke this maiden at Saratoga in his third try, and Wayne Lucas got ambitious. Ran him in the grid one hopeful. He wanted nothing to do with that quality of competition. Then again, he put him in another grade one race, the Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland, and stretched him out to a mile of 16. And once again, he wanted nothing to do with that quality of competition. And maybe maybe it was the distance as well. I don't know. But last time out, six and a half furlongs. When the stakes race at Churchill at 12 to 1, he's the only horse in this field with a stakes win. 
Well, now they're racing him back at a mile and a sixteenth. He's bred for the distance. I mean, he's the son of Justify. You think he could get a mile and a sixteenth? And on the damn side, he's bred for even longer distances than that. Getting nine to five on the seven horse, just steal. I'm gonna use him on my tickets. I want to see how he runs in this race, though. I want to see if he's a uh, more of a sprinter than a router. At thirty to one, state horse, chaperone. They spent nearly one million dollars on this son of Carlin. And those are not $1 million speed figures. He's going to have to run much faster than that. Getting 30 to 1 on the 8 horse chaperone. And to close out the field, it's the third horse for Brad Cox. He's got three in this race. Steve Asmussen has two. It's the 9 horse at 15 to 1. It's Fidget. Fidget should be forward in this one. Fidget has a win on turf. A win on dirt. Both of the wins are at Horseshoe, Indianapolis. Getting 15 to 1. A nine horse fidget. These are the horses that I'm going to use. I'm going to use Catching Freedom, Gettysburg Address, Laganos. I'm going to use Just Steel. If one of them scratch, I got to put Inform Patriot in there too. Horse I'm going to pick to win. Well, I'm going to go with the horse that I picked to win the Gunrunner Stakes. I'm going with the two horse, Catching Freedom at 9-2. to two. I may not get 9-2 to two on him, though. I'm picking the two horse to win. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck and Happy New Year.